Yo there guys, what is happening? Welcome back to another video here on National Vlogs. Today is a video that I've been wanting to do for a little while, but uh, I've not got around to filming it. And now that we're in the theme park close season, I have the time to record it. As you've seen by the title, this video is going to be sort of a construction roundup of uh, the supposed to be new for 2020 uh, walkthrough experience at Fort Park called Black Mirror Labyrinth, which, um, as you guys know, back in June was delayed until 2021. So um, we're going to go through, obviously, all the construction roundup that there's been throughout the 2020 season, as well as giving you a bit of backstory to the attraction. And towards the end of the video, I will give my prediction on when in 2021 I think Black Mirror will open. So let's get straight on into the video. So Black Mirror Labyrinth is going to be located in Old Town and is uh, next to uh, Colossus, where previously uh, one of my personal favorite horror mazes at Fort Park Fright Nights previously was, locate, was located. This was known as The Walking Dead Living Nightmare. So for those who did not know about Walking Dead Living Nightmare, it uh, came to a Fort Park Fright Nights in 2017. It replaced the iconic uh, Cabin in the Woods maze. And it will be, and uh, sorry, Living Nightmare was located in the same building that uh, Black Mirror Labyrinth is going to be going into next year. Uh, so Living Nightmare ran for three years at the park, ran for three years, ran from 2017 to the end of 2019. It did open twice in 2018. Uh, it opened uh, following Fright Nights in May 2018 for a new experience of Living Nightmare known as The Walking Dead Living Nightmare Extreme, which is personally, uh, in my opinion, and to quite a few other people's opinions, the best version of Living Nightmare, just due to the huge amount of actors that were used throughout which i think on the run one of the run throughs i had was about 30 people in there so of course uh, that was quite fun um and then it reopened again in august 2018 wasn't supposed to reopen again in august 2018 but due to uh saw alive having some issues uh and needing a bit of work they decided to reopen Living Nightmare until Saw was, was ready to go. Uh, I do believe Saw reopened the last two weeks of the summer of um, that year. And then obviously Living Nightmare is to be replaced with Black Mirror Labyrinth. Uh, it's a shame that Living Nightmare, when thing is with Living Nightmare, it was never really a strong maze. After Living Nightmare Extreme, in 2018 its popularity i'm not gonna lie did start to dwindle and definitely during the summer it hit in my opinion an all-time low as i think the biggest queue it ever got i think when i did it during the summer let alone during the summer of 2018 i got about 50 run-throughs over i think three or four weeks and i was going like twice a day and it was literally dead like it would open at 12 o'clock, it would not get a queue until, like it would only be open 12 till six on the 12 till eight days. It wouldn't even stay open for the whole night. It would just be open for six hours. But like I was saying, the biggest queue it got in the summer, I think at one point was like 10 minutes. Uh, there was so many times where literally I just walked straight through the queue, straight into the tunnel. Um, yeah, it's a shame Living Nightmare gone. is gone. It was the first Walking Dead maze I did when uh, The Walking Dead came to the park in Fright Nights 2017. But uh, some of you eagle eye viewers may have noticed uh, if you visited Fort Park Fright Nights during uh, 2020's festival, you may have noticed that parts of Living Nightmare made it into the event. Uh, the first being uh, the, the back end of the school bus, which you can see uh, on the video on your screen now. That uh, was repurposed into uh, 
um, the Howling Alive from Fort Hyde. This was located on the final bend, well, underneath the final bend of uh, Colossus and had been slightly repainted to fit in with the blue sort of thing that uh, Lycanthorpe High was uh, featuring that year. And then the chair from the governor's uh, room in Living Nightmare was on the exit ramp where Creek Freaks Unchained was. But yeah, as I said, Living Nightmare is being replaced by Black Mirror Labyrinth. Some people miss it, some people don't. Um, but yeah, that's the space that uh, Living Nightmare will be going into. Uh, no, sorry, the space that uh, Black Mirror Labyrinth will be going into when it opens in 2021. So I'm now going to read you the description for the Black Mirror Labyrinth. Get lost as you enter a hypnotic maze using cutting edge visual technology and sensory defying environments. Will you keep your grip on reality or will you lose yourself in the main frame as this unpredictable digitalized dimension reveals an uneasy truth that manipulates and displaces your very existence? So one thing I will say about uh, Black Mirror Labyrinth, I said this when it was first announced, I do like the logo design and we will get on to where we think the logo will be going uh, obviously on the entrance sign and um, if I'm honest what I'd like to see with the logo when it obviously on the entrance sign where you see obviously like the black mirror I would love to see some sort of light within the sign you know I would love to see that those who have done uh, Darren Brown's ghost train you know uh, that if you look at the Down Brown Ghost Train entrance sign, at night, it looks pretty beautiful. I'm not gonna lie, it's a really beautiful looking thing. Shame they couldn't uh, improve on that when they added the uh, Rise of the Demon signs, but yeah. But like I said, to be honest, description-wise for uh, Black Mirror really sets it up and I've got some, I've got good expectations for this when it opens, and it it better uh, succeed my expectations because considering we're now waiting an extra year for this, um, I reckon for uh, pulling out all the stops. I think they were going to be pulling out the st all the stops anyway, but I think now they're definitely going to be pulling out all the stops because of uh, COVID delaying it. So, like I said at the start of the video, it was delayed from opening in 2020 to opening in 2021. Now, we're just going to go over just a little roundup of all the construction that's been going on this season. And um, <laughs> it's not a lot. It's not a lot. Not a lot of construction has been visible whatsoever during the 2020 season. So let's kick straight in with the construction roundup. So the main thing, and one of probably the only huge bits of construction we had, was obviously all the Living Nightmare signs. Well, I say all of them. Almost all the Living Nightmare signs were removed. And we got this big black frame, which we presume is going to be for the new sign when it arrives. I, I'm predicting that we'll probably see the sign going in over winter season. So before the park reopens in March, uh, we're definitely expecting to see something happening, I think, over there. Um, but that's really the big main bit of construction, you know, and literally, to be honest, we were expecting in the back end of this season to sort of see something happening, maybe a little bit more happening on the sign or where the entrance part of the area is going to be. Sadly, no, nothing changed in this area whatsoever throughout the whole 2020 season, which is a huge shame because I think it had potential to bring the hype back up for it. Because if you think, when Black Mirror Labyrinth was announced, it had quite a huge bit of hype behind it. And then when it was delayed, there was still a bit of hype there but then afterwards, it just, everyone was like, meh, it's something next year. 
you know, and I think if Thorpe had maybe done a bit more construction, it might have been able to create a little bit more hype for it, ready for the new year. Um, the other bit that um, construction-wise happened in the 20, uh, 2020 season was, we got these signs, which obviously just said, Black Mirror Labyrinth opens 2021. So these sort of fenced off the area. Now, remember when I said nearly all the Living Nightmare signs were removed? The only ones that haven't been removed, and when I went on the last day to check construction out of the 2020 season, it's still the same. Those who did Living Nightmare in its, from 2018's extreme version all the way through to the end of its life, you will remember they made a temporary sort of temporary slash semi-permanent uh, disabled and fast track entrance area. The signs and the structure for that uh, disabled and fast track queue line is still there. All the fencing that was there is gone, just the signs are still there and it has been there since the end of 2019. Now whether these are, I presume these are one of the things that will get changed uh, over the close season, I think we will maybe see some new signs for the 2021 season when uh, Black Mirror Labyrinth opens. Um, and then the last bit of construction, I don't actually have a picture for, but I did witness this. So you're going to have to go with me on this and I'm going to have to explain it quite well. Is Some of you may remember that early on in the season, the tunnel that you used to queue in with Living Nightmare. Let me explain. Those who've done Living Nightmare, you remember you queued in the outdoor queue line for uh, Slammer from 2018 onwards, or if you did it in its first year, you'd queue up where Cabin in the Woods would queue up. And then you'd go into a long black tunnel, which on heat wave days was a pain in the ass. And um, yeah, that tunnel is completely gone now. I, even since they knocked it down, it's not been there. However, toward the end, on the last day of the season, well, sort of during the Fright Nights period, I did notice a bit of construction down there, which I don't think I was expecting to see. All this construction, it's not really construction, but it's, it's interesting to see. The whole, where the tunnel was, that path going where the tunnel used to run all the way down to where you'd enter and exit Living Nightmare has been painted silver. Now, this may not sound huge, but some of you may remember over the winter season of 2019 and 2020, you, were, you may remember that the side of the Jungle Escape building also got painted silver. So yes, it doesn't sound huge and exciting but it that's yes it's very little construction that's happened this season but just seeing that they painted that whole bit silver sh shows to us that they've still been working on it even during these unprecedented times and i think the reason and i'm going to say this now i think the reason why we haven't seen loads of visible construction this year is because i think personally all the construction is currently still taking place inside and i think when black mirror labyrinth was due to open i think it was either done in time or they still had a couple of bits to do to be honest if i'm going to say this now in my opinion i yeah i, I was going to say um no i'm not going to say it uh but yeah like yes it's like I say, I think there was still loads of construction currently going on within the Living Nightmare building. You know, when I saw uh, that the side of the building was painted silver, it looked like they'd slightly painted it silver also where the entrance to the pre-show for Living Nightmare was. So maybe we're going to be seeing the silver colour as sort of a main colour scheme. I think we're going to, the colours we're mainly going to see in that attraction, I think are mainly sort of like the blues and the silvers. I think futuristic uh, futuristic blue and silver, in my opinion, but who knows? 
anyway guys that's literally all the construction uh i'm now going to make my prediction on when i think black mirror labyrinth will open in 2021 in my opinion if they manage to get all the work done over this winter season which i think is currently still going on at the moment they've sort of ramped up construction obviously maybe not because of uh lockdown but i think in december they will be ramping it up as long as they get that attraction signed off I think we're going to be seeing it open with the park on the 27th of March. I think it's going to be opening from the start of the season. Obviously, there were predictions um, if it was to open the 2020 season, would it get maybe a Fright Nights overlay? To be honest, I don't think in its first year it will get a Fright Nights overlay. If anything, with it opening in 2021, I think we might see a Fright Nights overlay to the attraction coming to it in its second year in 2022 but who knows anything can happen anyway guys thank you very much for watching this video if you did enjoy this video make sure to subscribe as i will be creating loads of content as we go through the lockdown period and as we go over the winter season i'm definitely going to try and do some monk walks uh, monks walk videos uh, over the winter uh, so keep an eye out for that. They will probably be on like a monthly basis. They will probably start in December and will be every month, December, January, February, and then the last one being in March. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. I've been Nasha. This has been another video on Nasha Vlogs. Like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Stay safe, everyone. Peace out.